Hi everyone! Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if we've hung out here before. My name is Cindy and I'm a 30 year old mama and small business owner trying to find financial freedom. So today we are going to be stuffing a little bit of extra money that we got plus my paycheck for this week. Um, this is what's left in my paycheck after paying my babysitter and then there's also a little extra in here because apparently we overpaid on one of our bills so they sent us a refund so we have that in here as well um so today we're going to be cash stuffing <laughs> sorry guys we're going to do that again because i don't know what happened last time um everything got all mixed up so <laughs> we're just going to try that again today we are going to be cash stuffing 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 310, 3, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, so that's 3.50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, and 61. 361 dollars today. And right off the bat, we are going to take a pretty big chunk of this out. Oh, you know what? Let me get my coins first. I have so much change this week. I have no idea how I ended up with this many coins. I don't know what happened, but they have just been drawn to me this week and I'm not mad about it because coins go toward debt payments and I like debt payments. I need to do an update again here soon. I think I might do it this month after we make this month's payment. Um, I already scanned my receipts. I keep my receipts because I scan them into the Fetch app, but I also scan them into the Merrifield app. They're both the same idea. Um, if you don't use either of them, you save your receipts from when you're shopping or you're getting gas or whatever you do, wherever you get receipts. And you just take a picture and you upload them into the app and the apps give you points for your receipts. Um, you'll get bonus points if you buy certain items, but you don't have to. You'll still get points regardless. Um, Fetch gives you um, 25 points per receipt plus any bonus points that you get if you scan a receipt with one of their um, one of the items on there, like special items on there. Um, Maryfield gives you 50 per receipt, and I have um, I have enough in my Maryfield account right now to redeem a $50 gift card, which I'm going to be doing here soon because I'm going to use that toward um, Christmas this year. That's going toward Christmas, and um, once we clear out a little more space in the house, we're going to go ahead and start ordering some gifts for our kids for Christmas to get a jump on it. That way we're already ahead of the game. And I'm going to use my apps to do most of that. My goal is to use the apps to completely pay for Christmas, but we'll see. Um, anyway, I have referral codes for both of those down in the description box below if you would also like to check them out. Um, with Fetch, if you use my referral code, when you scan your first receipt, you will get a bonus 200 points. And then with Maryfield, same thing if you use my code to sign up and you scan your first receipt you'll get a bonus 2,000 points so highly recommend both of those apps they're great I'm gonna move this a little bit um so some of this I have a plan for and some of it I do not um we did already spend a couple dollars we stopped by the grocery store on our way back from the bank we just needed a couple of things so I'm not going to put anything into grocery because we've already spent the extra that I was going to put in here um, but I am going to skip to my spending and we're actually going to put, um, 250 into here 
and that's not actually for me. I just needed an envelope for it. Um, my son is turning nine on Sunday. I can't believe he's so big. And we're going to the zoo. And um, we have a zoo membership. So like, you know, we get in for free and like our parking is free and everything like that. But we wanted to have a bunch of spending money to use while we're there. So the $250 that I'm setting aside is going for his birthday. So um, 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2, and 50. I wanted to use smaller bills for that because I'm not sure that they can break 100 there. So I figured I'd just be safe and have smaller bills. So um, I believe, I think that's all I'm putting in here. Um, I don't, I don't really have a plan <laughs> for, for this cash to be completely honest with you. I'm kind of just, um, there's a couple of things that I know I need to put money in and the rest is just, we're going to see what happens. Um, I do need to go to my savings challenges. Um, this one we're going to go ahead and finish today. All you need is happiness. This savings challenge was made by Lisa at Lisa Grateful Me. Um, you get it from her Etsy is the Happy Mailbox Co. And it comes with like three challenges on a sheet. We're going to actually finish this one today. It only needs 25 to be finished. So we're going to go with these. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And I wanted to make sure we finished this today because this money is also going to be going toward um, our zoo trip for my son's birthday. So I just want to make sure that we have tons of spending money for him. Um, I have a couple other things I want to do with him as well that day. So this is going to go toward like all of that. Um, so when this is finished, it's $75. Let's make sure I have that correctly. I should. 50, 5, 60, 5, 70, and 5. Yes, perfect. So we are finished with our adorable owl challenge. Well, one of them. I do have all three of them going right now, but yay, I'm so excited. What is everyone else's plans for the weekend? You guys have anything fun coming up? This is actually going to be, I think... If I remember correctly, I believe that our two younger kids, my four-year-old and three-year-old, I think they've both been to the zoo once before when they were like teeny, teeny, tiny and probably don't remember. So this is going to be the first time that they've gone that they'll actually remember something and I'm really excited about that. Um, we're going to do this one next <laughs> because last week I confused myself. And I accidentally colored in the 15 when I should not have. So we're just going to go ahead and add 15 to it today so that we get caught up and have it accurate. So now this challenge has 25, which is correct based on my tracker. I think we're going to go ahead and skip this one today. This is the third one in that pack from Lisa Grateful Me. As you can see, they're all super cute, super cohesive. I love these. Um, I think what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and go to the new clothes. This tracker was made by Jordan at Jordan Budgets, and we're using this to save up for new clothes for the kids for back to school. Um, I think I'm going to put this other 50 in here, and let's see, I can color in, okay, so we have 25, 25 and 15 would be 40, and 7 and 3 makes 10, perfect, okay, so I'll color those in, and we'll add 50 to this. I had such a crazy day at work today. So I actually ended up, first let me tell you, I missed work yesterday. Um, yesterday, my babysitter texted me in the morning and was like, I'm so sorry, I'm super sick, I've been 
running a fever. Um, she was up all night feeling really icky. And she said, she's like, you know, I can take some medication and like push through if you need me to. And I was like, no, that's okay. I'm sure I can find somebody else. You just, you rest and recover because I, she has a one-year-old and I definitely don't want her having to chase around all my littles on top of hers while she's not feeling well and all of that. So I was like, no, don't worry about it. Just rest. I'll figure something out. Well, um... I wasn't able to find a sitter, so I ended up missing work yesterday, which was a bummer because um, my work was closed Monday in honor of Juneteenth, and Mondays are always really busy at my work because um, people make orders on Saturday nights when we're closed, then we're also closed on Sundays, and people are making orders on Sundays, so we have all of Sunday orders and then Saturday night orders when we come in on Monday, plus all of Monday orders. So Monday is usually two and a half days worth of orders that we have to work on. So Mondays are busy. And since we were closed Monday, we had all of Saturday night plus Sunday plus Monday orders on Tuesday on top of Tuesday orders. So it was bananas. And um, they said that they had like everybody in the store coming back to the back to help pull orders. And I feel so bad. Um, I I feel awful that I missed yesterday and that it was crazy. Um, but today, thankfully, we got all caught up in everything from yesterday. But then my boss is out of town right now. She's at a convention in another state. And she did not let us know that she was expecting an order from FedEx of 120 cases of product. So we had 120 cases, like huge cases of product to go through today. Um, if I can put like a video clip in here, I will do that here so that you guys can see. Um, when FedEx showed up, they were like, hey, just so you know, we have an order for you that's over 100 cases and we're going to have to make a second trip because we can't fit all of it. And so, and they had two trucks with them. They had two trucks. Um, so first they dropped off 105 cases and then they came back later with 15 more huge cases of product. It was bananas. It was crazy. And I was outside. Um, we were opening them to see what they were and then labeling them and then putting them where they had to go. We have like a, um, my boss bought these uh, like shipping containers like that you see on like boats or like on trains. She bought a couple of those for storage because our warehouse is getting so full. So some of them had to go there. Some of them had to move to a different location that we have. And some of them went inside to the store. And so we were outside for like an hour. And it was 90 something degrees today. <laughs> and we were just opening these boxes and moving them around. And it was so hot. And we went inside and we were all like, thank goodness that today just happened to be a slow day otherwise. Because we all got to just like stand around for a minute and breathe and cool down. <laughs> it was bananas. Um, I did finish another book that I was reading. Oh, excuse me. Um, another book that I was reading. So I'm going to put $5 into my bookshelf challenge. So now it'll have 20 And how I do this challenge is um, rather than just coloring a book and saving the amount that I've set the books to be, um, I, I, every time I finish a book, I put $5 into here. Um, I made the books worth five. You can make them whatever you want. This super adorable little book is from Savannah at Sav Saves, and I love this so much. Um, let's see, let's color this one. But it was actually, it was a really good book. I actually just read... Um, I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy, and it was, it was a wild read. Um, it was, like, funny in the most tragic way, which, I mean, it's supposed to be. Like, it was awful and heartbreaking and, um, really sad, but, like, really funny, too. And I definitely recommend it if that's the kind of thing that you're into. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great, great book. So what do we have left? We have 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We have $16 left. Um, what do I want to do with that? I think we will grab... Oh, no, you know what I'm going to do with it? I want to finish, or, well, not finish, but I want to continue with my scratch-off. This was made by Yancy at Yancy Budget. I absolutely love her stuff. I've bought a couple of her scratch-offs so far, and I love them. I think they're so cute. I need, I'm planning to order more soon, but first I want to get a little more caught up on everything that I have. Let's see, I think we're going to do this top blue one today. Fourteen. Awesome. Just barely made that one. <laughs> if you do not watch Yancy's channel, I highly recommend you do. I love watching her so much. She's so fun. Alright, so 14. And she'll do server blogs too, which are always really interesting. I love those. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we're going to put that in our scratch off envelope. This is another one that Yancy made. Isn't that so cute? Where is my moolah? And it's a little cow. Oh my god, I love it. It's so cute. And then this one too. These cute little unicorns. I'm going to do this one, I think, for probably my daughter's birthday. But definitely recommend, if you don't yet watch her channel, watch it. Go check it out and subscribe because she is such a blast to watch. Come here. Oh my gosh. I really need to have my nails taken off. They've grown out so much that like I don't know how to use my fingers anymore. <laughs> I think I'm going to have them taken off this weekend. And then I'm going to let them breathe for a minute. And then I'm going to get them done again. And I don't know what I want to get done this time. I'm thinking maybe just like a basic, like a simple matte black or something. I don't know. I've got time to figure it out. <laughs> All right, so so far in my scratch off envelope, we have 10, 15, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 37. That's awesome. I cannot for the life of me remember if she said how much the scratch off will be, and if so, I can't remember what it is. So it's just a mystery. I don't know how much I'm going to save. We're just going to see what happens. And then we have two, right? Two? Yes, two dollars left. Um, I'm going to make that one easy. I'm actually just going to put these into this month's debt payment. And just keep it simple. Um... We have kind of put that on like the back burner lately and I don't want to do that. I want to get back to really focusing on it because I want it gone. <laughs> I want it a thing of the past. So let's see. I didn't come back and color these back in like I said I would. I'll have to do that when I'm done here. Um, let's see, I left off it blue so I need the purple one. I'm just going to do the same thing today. I'll come back and color these as soon as I'm done here. Um, and then my orange one. There we go. So, for the month of June, so far, toward debt, we have saved 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 dollars. Awesome. Every little bit helps. Every little bit adds up. Um, I believe... I think I'm going to have to double check and I'll let you guys know, but I think at the end of this month when we make our debt payment, the card that we're currently focusing on, that we're snowballing at the moment, if I remember correctly, it is like right at halfway paid off from when we first started all this. And so this payment 
this month should get it down um I think another I don't know like 15 to 20 percent from where it's at which would be amazing between this and the fives and then I think we're going to be done with the change this month because this is a longer month and it's got the five weeks and so I really think that we'll be done with this change jar in that time um but we'll see. We'll see what happens. My, I'm really, really hoping that like we can save. I think I want to set a goal of like 120 this month to put toward that credit card because that will almost completely knock out what's left, and that would be amazing. But we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna leave these out so that I don't forget to color them in. Um, but that is all I have for today. This was just a real kind of a quick, short random stuffing I guess because I didn't really plan it I always it always throws me off when I don't plan them um if you enjoy this kind of content I would love for you to stick around so go ahead and hit that subscribe button please like this video if you had a good time and leave me a comment I would love to chat with you down in the comments and get to know you all um I love doing that I'm I feel like I say every week that I'm behind on comments because I am um, but I should be getting caught up. My mom actually has my kiddos for the rest of this week because my sitter is sick. I, I don't have anywhere else to take them. So they're staying with her until, um, Saturday morning. We're going to go out and get them. So I actually have time to reply to comments now. Um, so please just say, Hey, down at the bottom, let me know that you're here. Let me know you're watching. And I would love to catch up with you. Um, I will see you guys on Friday when we stuff my husband's paycheck. So I'll see you then. Until then, be safe. Bye.